So a little bit under an hour ago, we got some horrible news from D23. Amongst all of the new stuff, whether you think it's good or bad, they're presenting. We got an interview that was done with Kevin Feige and Tom Holland. And IGN reported on this, and it basically puts the nail in the coffin for Spider-Man ever returning to the MCU. So in the in this uh, in this news article, it's it says this what Holland Eddie said: the future of Spider-Man will be different, but it will be equally as awesome and amazing, and will find new ways to make it even cooler. And Feige says down here, uh, he he's feeling about Spider-Man was gratitude and joy. And then he says here, this is where it's kind of odd. He says, we got to make five films within the MCU with Spider-Man, two standalone films, and three with the Avengers. It was a dream that I never thought would happen. It was never meant to last forever. We knew there was a finite amount of time that we'd be able to do this. And we told the story we wanted to tell, and I'll always be thankful for that. I call BS on this. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about the, the whole occur in it, uh, of what it's talking about in a minute, but this line from Feige doesn't make any sense. He says they wanted to tell the story that they they want that 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 was it with the five movies. I call BS on that. Obviously, if you've seen Far From Home, the way that it ends is a huge cliffhanger. The way that the first movie ended with having the villains meet in the prison was all setting up for a bigger picture for Spider Man. So for Feige to say that they told the story they wanted to is BS. I have my own theory about this, which is that. Disney was making was gonna put all of their money on Far From Home, like basically betting everything on it to basically have Sony be like crap. Like we have to keep going with the contract and try to leverage the negotiations on Disney's end to be like, you know what, we made over a billion dollars. This is your highest grossing film. Now you have to uh go on our terms. And Sony was like, No, this is still our franchise, this is still someone that we own, we're not gonna go your way and that's what what sparked this and basically have Spider-Man leave the MCU. Now, this really sucks. Um, going back to what I actually feel about this article, this really, really does suck because now Spider-Man is going to be very different. I mean, we know that there's two standalone films that he still has with Tom Holland, could be more. Um, there's that rumor, or I think it was confirmed, that they're working on the sequel Too Far From Home. But... It's going to be way different than what it was going to be if it, if Spider-Man was still in the MCU. Because now, look, they can't use you know certain words or certain phrases or reference the cinematic universe anymore. So they can't reference the uh, the snap, the blip. They can't reference the Avengers, um, Iron Man. Unless like Disney says, sure, fine, go ahead. But Disney's not going to do that. They're they're greedy. They're not going to let them have make any reference to. What he was so, honestly, the third, the sequel to Far From Home is going to be a soft reboot. Like that's how it's it, it's gonna be. Kind of like what they're doing with, um, well, I guess not really the same, but kind of what they're doing with with Terminator. How they this new one, Dark Phase, is, is a soft reboot where it only takes into account the first two movies. This one is like the character is still the same. He's still the same Spider-Man we know from the 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 Marvel Cinematic Universe, but. He's not part of it anymore. And he's gonna do his own thing. So now it opens up to um, different stories, and you know that can involve Venom. Um, it could involve Carnage, which actually would be cool. Like I actually would want to see Venom and Spider-Man team up in an actual live-action movie to fight Carnage because we, we've seen that in the comic books, we've seen that in in the cartoons. So it would be fantastic to see that. However, at what price? So now, since we don't have Kevin Feige. Uh, overlooking uh, Spider-Man movies, I I really feel that there's gonna be a shift in tone of how the movie is gonna feel when we see it, and I don't know if it's gonna be good because we've seen the dark ones or the darker or more serious ones with Andrew Garfield, um, and it didn't work out that well, and I don't want them to imitate Disney because I feel that Sony's just gonna. It's just gonna they're gonna fall flat on the faces if they try to. So it's gonna be really different to to see the, to see Spider Man solely with just Sony. So again, this is sad news, and I really don't know what to think about it. I it, it really sucks, but I mean it is what it is. I mean, I, we you can sign petitions all we want, and that's what's funny. Like you can sign a petition with that with twenty million people, 
um, wanting to have him back in the MCU. That's not going to change a dang thing. And all it comes down to is money. And so either either Disney buys out Sony, which would suck because we don't want Disney to monopolize everything, or they sell just Spider-Man for a ridiculous amount that Disney wouldn't even offer to pay at that amount. Or we just let them go their separate ways from now on. Or maybe they come back together for another negotiation. But from this article, it looks like that's not that's not going to happen. So let me know what you guys think about the nail in the coffin. Spider-Man no longer, officially no longer will be in the MCU. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, please like and subscribe us to get more news and more videos uh, or get notifications of our videos of all the random topics we're going to be covering about games and anime. So... This is David the Smash Fan from Chibino Podcast, and I'm out.